On day one, there were two people and then four, and then 16. In three months, it's a billion. That's where we're headed. A deadly unknown virus, a growing pandemic, government secrecy, and panic in the streets. All the hallmarks of your usual disease disaster movie. But for the new film Contagion, producers sought to get the details right. And to do that, they consulted real life virus hunter, Dr. Ian Lipkin. Who was profiled in the New York Times a few weeks ago of, and they said of him, if he can't identify a virus, probably nobody can. And Ian understands the science and is on set every day because we wanted the, the procedures to be accurate. So accurate that Lipkin advised reshoots on a scene involving a self-inoculation. Director of Columbia University's Center for Infection and Immunity, Lipkin's always on the lookout for new infectious agents all over the world, working to determine where they originate and how they spread. And if we can find ways to streamline the process for making a diagnosis, and we can come up with a basic understanding of how these infectious agents cause disease, that in turn enables the development of antibiotics, antivirals, vaccines. For Contagion, he gave his expertise on everything from storylines to props, even training actresses Kate Winslet and Jennifer Ely on the finer points of lab work. And like a Hollywood creature designer, Lipkin and his team helped build the microscopic monster that terrorizes the world of contagion. We generated models of the virus that we created by taking genetic sequences out of GenBank and the International Committee for Taxonomy of Viruses, relabeling them, re-engineering them so that we could show a virus in evolution. The killer microbe is pure fiction, but it's Lipkin's decades in the field that inspired its creation one virus in particular. This virus is called Nipah virus. And Nipah virus had two uh, common modes of transmission. One was that bats would infect pigs, people would become exposed to the pigs, and would become infected that way. The other way is directly from the bats. But then reports emerged of human to human transmission. While he's been asked to advise on other films, Lipkin said outbreaks of zombie viruses didn't interest his scientific side. This in contrast was uh, an effort to really get the story right and to represent the science appropriately and motivate people to become involved to address the challenges that we face. Those challenges include defunding of the nation's public health care system. We don't have enough people who know how to, how to track infectious diseases. We don't have fast ways to diagnose infectious diseases. We don't have ways to make vaccines that are really state of the art. Lipkin hopes the film not only sheds light on this issue, but on the importance of controlling infectious diseases all over the world. First, because it's the right thing to do, because there's an enormous morbidity and mortality. It's also important to do this from a selfish vantage point as well, because whatever is over there can also come here. Truly a scary movie. For Discovery News, I'm Jorge Rivas.